Let's talk about how to achieve goals. In theory, it's really easy. We decide on a goal, we figure out what we need to do to achieve it, and then we do it. But we all know it gets more complicated in reality. It is challenging to keep the overview, and we have to make tough choices about what to do next and maybe more importantly, what not to do at all. To help us in making these tough decisions, we have created Goalscape. It is as powerful as it is simple. Unlike any other solution, it always shows the big picture overview, maximizing clarity about what to do next, as well as boosting goal-focused engagement. At the heart of Goalscape is a simple yet information-rich circular map that represents any challenge in a unique holistic way. We call this map a Goalscape. It clearly shows each goal's position, its priority, and its progress status. So everybody always stays on top of things, helping us to achieve our goals with Olympic level motivation, clarity, and purpose. And here's how it works in practice. In a goalscape, the main goal sits in the center, surrounded by the sub goals required to achieve it. Goalscape displays progress as darker shading, filling up the goal slice from the outside in towards the main goal at the center. The amount of shading represents the percentage complete for that goal. Goalscape shows the relative importance of each goal directly and intuitively. The size of each goal represents its importance, or in other words, its contribution to its parent. To adjust the importance of a goal, select it and drag the button on its outer border or use the importance slider in its panel. Increasing the importance of one goal reduces the importance of all its neighbors and vice versa. In this way, Goalscape serves as a friendly reminder that resources are limited and precious. And here are some navigation tips. To center a goal, double-click on it or select the corresponding option from the context menu. When you center a sub-goal, a miniature of the main Goalscape appears, highlighting the goal you centered. You can jump straight back to the main Goalscape view by double-clicking on the miniature or right-clicking on any goal and selecting Center on Main Goal. To go up just one level at a time, double-click the central goal. To reduce the amount of detail displayed and increase the clarity of your goal map, you can collapse some outer levels using the arrows at top right of the goal map. You can start a new goalscape from the home screen using either the Create button at the top of the screen or the Plus button at the bottom right. The default goalscape has a central main goal and three level 1 sub-goals. You can change the name of the goals and add new ones at any level to create the visual hierarchy of goals that represents your challenge. Every goal has an information panel on the right-hand side of the screen where you can define and update information like progress made, relative importances, color, a due date, who is responsible, tags for additional categorizations, and notes that can include links, images, videos, and tables. On the top left of the screen, you can open the focus panel to filter and highlight specific goals that require attention at any given time. When you select any of the tags, the corresponding goals that contain these tags get highlighted and a list of these goals appears below.